guys, it's Amanda. Welcome to Vlogoween day one. Now we just sing the la 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 la. Yes, guys, I am doing a Vlogoween, which is supposed to mean 31 days of videos, but life so I won't be committing to posting on Sundays but every single other day of the week you will be seeing a video from me I have a lot planned so fingers crossed it all works out I'm super excited so to kick off vlogoween I thought it'd be perfect to introduce my Croctober series I did this last year it was so much fun I'm gonna be linking my playlist from last year down below so if you can't wait for crockpot recipes I got you down below so for this Croctober I will be sharing a different crockpot recipe every single Tuesday and I will also be collaborating with a different creator every single Tuesday. So that's double the Crock-Pot recipes every single week because I know you guys love Crock-Pot recipes. So today I'm going to be making stuffed mini bell peppers in the Crock-Pot and they're delicious. You're going to love them. And this week I'm collaborating with my friend Shauna. Her YouTube channel name is Mrs. Dickinson. First of all, she is just so cute and she shares really awesome recipes, what's for dinners and things like that, like shop with me's and grocery hauls. So I know you guys will love her content. So after you're done watching my video, definitely go check out her video, leave her a like, a comment, show her all the love and subscribe to her channel if you are not already. Now let's get into this week's Croctober recipe. For this recipe, you will need one box of penne pasta or any pasta that you like, one to two bags of mini bell peppers, depending on how much are in your bag and how many big ones are in there, Italian style shredded cheese, one jar of pasta sauce, Italian style breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, one egg, minced garlic, crushed red pepper flakes, parsley, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, minced onion, and one pound of ground Italian sausage. So to get started, I am just washing and cutting the tops off of my little peppers and then you want to remove all the seeds inside. It's really easy to remove the seeds if you do it under running water. Then I'm going to get started on the filling, so I'm just going to add an egg to my Italian sausage as well as a quarter cup of Italian breadcrumbs, a little less than a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, and a tablespoon of the following seasonings. Next I'm going to add one teaspoon of the minced garlic and a quarter teaspoon of the crushed red pepper flakes. And then I'm just going to stir all these ingredients into the sausage and make sure they're all incorporated. After I'm done mixing that all up, I'm just going to take a quart size Ziploc bag and add my filling right to it. This is just going to make it easier to get the sausage mixture into the peppers. Then I'm going to add about half of the jarred pasta sauce right to the bottom of my crock pot just so the peppers have somewhere to go once I'm done filling them. So I'm just going to snip the top off of my Ziploc bag and then we're going to squeeze the filling out of the bag and into the peppers as much as you can fit. Then once all my peppers are in my crock pot, I'm just going to pour the rest of the sauce on top and I always add some water to my pasta sauce jar and shake it around and get the rest of the sauce out and pour that on top as well. And then you can cook this on low for about 4 hours or on high for 6 hours. I want to go past that so you'll get soggy peppers. But this is how they looked when they were all done about 6 hours later on low. And you just want to be careful when you stir them because you don't want to break them up. And then once they're done cooking, I just added some Italian shredded cheese on top and then closed the lid for about 10 more minutes until that melted. 
These peppers would be great served over rice or pasta, or you can eat them plain if you want a lower carb option. And then I just sprinkled these with some extra Parmesan cheese on top. And this is my plate. This was so, so good. And the Italian sausage becomes so tender. And the sauce is just so flavorful. This is definitely a win. Alright guys, that is it for this crack scooper recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go check out Shauna's channel. I have her link down below and see what she made this week. And I'll see you guys next week for another crock pot recipe.